She is Denise Liggett, the Indiana County Tourist Bureau. Oh, what kind of tourism can you have in a pandemic? Well, actually, you can have a lot of things. There are tons of things going on. Good morning, Denise. Brought to us by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. How are you? Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> uh, I'm doing well, Todd. Thank you for asking. It's I woke up today. That's a good thing. There the you go. got me to work, so there you go. <laughs> All right, so what are some of the things we're looking about? Well, um, I do have some tourism things, but before I start on those, I wanted to do a little PR uh, for one of our members, the uh, Playball Sports, and you had said that they had been on talking to you, but I wanted to just let the community know, for those who have the uh, sports athletic children in their um, families, uh, they are doing a liquidation sale today, Mm -hmm. um, Thursday, August 27th, and it is from 6 to 7 p.m. The ICE families only can go and participate. And then it's open to the public from 7 to 8 p.m. today. Um, but they're, you know, these sales are going on. And uh, as I said, it's being um, frugal and not cheap to go and participate. And, you know, there's bats and helmets and a lot of sporting goods. So um, if you have other, I, I, they have their website for mm-hmm. um, other maybe to look and get more information, and that is playballsportsindiana at gmail.com, playballsports <laughs> at indiana at, indiana at gmail.com. Uh-huh. Okay. So. I wanted to give a little shout-out for them. Sure, they're good folks, really good, good folks. folks. Uh, let's see, today, here's a great thing to do today, this weekend when it's raining. They're still doing the movies over at the Jimmy Stewart Museum. And right now you can see you can't take it with you. Mm -hmm. And that's running until the 30th. And then starting on the 31st through the week, it's going to be Harvey. Yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite Jimmy Stewart movie. Go do a Jimmy Stewart uh, movie on a big screen. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. um, Let's see. Today's date is the 27th, so I try to keep these in order. So we're looking at the 28th, and we have Founders who's doing a special paint session Friday. That's a fun thing to go do. Um, I know you've been talking about some Red Cross blood drives, um, and I just wanted to remind everyone there's a lot that are going to be going on in September, September 2nd, September 4th, September 18th, so they can um, check out the Red Cross at 1-800-733-2767 or our website because we do have them listed for their location, one's at IUP, one's here at the mall on the 4th. Um, so they're around the county, so it's still time to give and donate blood. And just a reminder for this weekend, uh, we, of course, have the uh, farmer's market going on on Saturday, and then again on Wednesday. Saturday is at the church, uh, S&T Bank uh, parking lot between 8th and Church Street, and then again on Wednesday at the KCAC. Parking across from the KCAC, the parking lot on Wayne Avenue. We have also um, this weekend going on some fall open houses, the, a little bit of country that's on 119 there by Sansos and Homer City, and then the Rustic Log Cabin and Black Dog Wine is having one on the 4th. A little bit of country is on Friday the 28th. Again, this weekend is a big weekend. We have a lot of members who are... Uh, participating in the Indiana PA Country Fair that's going on there on Ramsey Run Road in Indiana. Um, Go out and support our members because they are participating. We've got an antique tractor pool, the Brush Valley Antique Iron and Power Club. Now, that's happening on September 5th. That's at 9 a.m. out at Brush Valley Park. There you go. September 5th is Turning Timbers by... Upcycling old trees. This is at Yellow Creek State Park. They're going to have some artists out there working with some, showing you how to turn beautiful old trees, um, turning old trees into beautiful wood wood pieces um, that you can use in landscaping. So, um, if you want more information on that, that's seven two four three five seven seven nine one three. Or again, check our website at visit Indiana County. PA.org. 
And, Todd, I know you're excited about this. Get out your skates because public ice skating begins September 5th Ooh. out at the White Township Recreation S&T Bank Arena. Yeah. Starting back. I used to be a hockey player. I can do that. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I, I'm not surprised. Not surprised at all. <laughs> um, get out and support the Lions Club. They're having their turkey dinner on Saturday, September 12th. And the virtual United Way kickoff uh, campaign is happening on September 17th. And I probably didn't say enough. That turkey dinner is out at the uh, tur- at the Turkey's Lion Club, at the Indiana PA Lions Club out on Lions <laughs> Health Camp. Yeah, they haven't renamed themselves from the Lions Club to the Turkey's Club. <laughs> They'll be serving lions. Um, <laughs> and it's from 4 to 6.30, and that's on Saturday the 12th. Mm-hmm. Big thing, um, let's see, we also have... There is a uh, celebration going on. It's the Ghost Town Trail photo promotion. And that is happening now until Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Um, There's information on our website. Anybody who wants to know more about it, check our website or give us a call here at 724-463-7505. So is this a a, you submit photos or you... you Go out and take a photo. Okay. Um, Of course, I'm encouraging people to... be sure when they're on the ghost town trail to take it in indiana county because it runs into indiana county of course take it on the indiana county portion of the trail that is right there you go be in the portion of indiana county on the trail it's all beautiful Mm -hmm. but go out and take a photo there are prizes it's a 250 and fifty dollar gift certificate to the indiana cycling center Mm. and then rei is giving a co-op gift package um for second place so you take a photo and submit them and there are websites and all that information on our website about how to do it and they're going to do a picking their random drawing on september 2nd okay so hey, that's anthony coming up frazier quick. if you're listening <laughs> now see, see we can't compete with anthony uh, no no, but I can use his photos because he's so wonderful. I, he gives me permission, and yeah. uh, I ask for permission, and we get to use his photos because they are beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. he knows how to do it. Yes, he, he does. Do um, and Apple Weekend is coming up in Smithsburg. Uh, that's coming up September 18, 19, and 20. Celebrate the season of delicious apples. Apples will be for sale, apple dumplings. They're going to have kettle corn. There's going to be festival foods, um, Civil War encampment. And on Saturday only, on the 19th, they're going to have horse-drawn wagon rides. Um, Of course, all the shops, especially shops, are open. And I want to say that I was up for the uh, Peach Weekend, and I can tell the listeners firsthand that they do – use all the precautions. I mean, there there were masks. They have hand sanitizers. Um, of course, it's in the open door. A lot of the um, vendors are set up outside, so that helps with the social distancing. But um, this is a big weekend for them on September 18, mm-hmm. 19, and 20. People looking for things to do. Yeah. Oh, I skipped over August 29th. This coming Saturday is the Indiana County Humane Society's annual Claws and Paws. Mm, Beth Finnegan will tell us all about that next time. Okay. Hour. She coming in? All right. Yeah. yeah. She'll be with us. There you go. I just did a little setup for her. Uh-huh. Okay. How about the Newman News Bookseller? Are they coming in? Um, I believe, yeah, we've got Dr. May is going to come and tell us about that. Okay. Because that's this Saturday as well, on the 29th, from 10 to 2. And they are doing it a little different this year. Um, but, like you said, he'll tell you, she'll tell you all about it. Um, it's a good thing to get out. And I know my friends are can't wait to go out and get some new books. Yeah. And then there's a trash pickup this Saturday on August 29th at Blue Spruce Road Trash mm-hmm. Pickup. Evergreen Conservancy. Uh, they're conducting a pickup of trash on Blue Spruce Road on Saturday, August 29th, and it starts at 9 a.m. So if you need to, um, they said it takes maybe just an hour or so yeah. last year. they And they provide the um, bags and the vests and gloves and everything. They said last year they were done by 11. So We do just show up at Blue Spruce and they give yep. you the stuff? Yep. 
There you go. Makes you mad people do it, but makes you glad other people clean it up. Um, let's see. There's the Fall Coin Show is taking place September 19th, mm-hmm. Saturday, from 10 to 4 at the S&T Bank Arena. Um, real cool uh, program. Their, their Facebook posts have been so pretty. The Owl Prowl at Blue Spruce Park. Okay. Beautiful aisle. Um, they had they, just a okay. great photo. I wonder if Anthony took it. But there's a really pretty owl, um, and that's happening at Blue Spruce on September 19th at mm-hmm. 7 p.m. And they ask that you do uh, register. There's a limit of 10 to 15 people. Mm-hmm. And you contact the Friends of the Parks, 724 Four six three, eight six three six. We're out of time, Denise. Really? Yeah. Todd, uh, do you know about the artful chair? Uh, that, yeah, yeah. We've had them on. We've, oh, you've had them on. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait for that. It's yeah. it's beautiful chairs. All right. Beautiful. Thank you, Denise. Well, thank you, sir. You have a great weekend. You too. Thanks for Thanks. being with us. It's Indiana in the morning here on the Voice of Indiana County WCCS County WCCS.